He's drinking coffee, I'm drinking wine. What time is it? You'll Morning. never know. <laughs> Welcome back to our Stupid Reactions, idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. Uh, I think we're some Patreon following should account with the bell for engagement squad. Bang! Follow us on person YouTube channels. Links in the description below. And that's all. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a great day. And today. We are doing a review movie. He does that. None of you were alive when that was happening. Yep. Only him. Just me. Yep. Wait. Uh, actually, you know that, what? Was that actually a thing? Yeah, it was. You had to crank the thing. Yeah, but this. You're, you're going like this. No, I'm doing. I'm doing this. Oh, you are. Yeah. I was like, what, what is this? I'm doing that. Gotcha. That okay. was. But that was what I just did. Was the, the after the era of sound and the yeah. silent era. I was just. Yep. Just cranking the film. Did you know there was no sound prior to that? You know that whole the tree falling in the woods and if anyone was there, would it make a sound? There was no sound prior to the talkies That's anywhere right. on earth. As a kid, you you don't. <laughs> I thought for a while, like I thought they invented color at a certain <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah, like, like there was no color. No, in the world. In the world. No, yeah. everything was just black and white. It's true. Everybody was racist. Yep, but that's true. Yeah. Uh, but today we are doing a movie review of the Hindi language film. Uh, I believe it's well, in Hindi, English, I guess. Uh, film Omerta, uh, directed by Hansel, say his name, Meta. Hansel Meta, who we've, I think we actually seen one of his, but we've seen a bunch of trailers. Yes. We know of him. We've Is Aligarh the yes. only one we've seen? Uh, yeah. But we've seen the, the trailers for Shahid, um, and he also did um, Scam 19, something, yes, something the, that the hit show that everybody's raving everybody's about. telling us about. Um, but so we know him a lot. Uh, he was apparently the screenwriter as well, and then starring basically Raj Kumar Rao. Right. And when we saw this, we're very excited to see it. Yes. Um, because very interesting concept. Yes. Of having a terrorist as be the star focal point. Yeah. And I can't think of another film that does that. But anyways, uh, this will be a hundred percent short review. This is how we do things here. If you haven't watched it, it's real short. Go watch it. Come back if you like to be spoiled. Don't watch it. Get spoiled. Because <laughs> we're about to. Yes. Spank you in the butt. Wah, wah, wah. Rick, initial thoughts. Um, I had two things that I liked and two things that I didn't like. One that is unacceptable. Gotcha. So, <laughs> two, things you two things I liked, one thing I don't like, and one thing that is un unacceptable. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um, but overall, did you, did you enjoy the film, though? I, I was I stayed engaged throughout. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I stayed engaged throughout the whole movie. This is how I liked the film. There was things that kept me from loving the film. The one thing that is unacceptable for me uh -huh. causes me to not like the film as a whole. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. If that was not in it, I would really like it. Okay. A lot. What is uh, it? Just go ahead and talk about it. Flat out retold history. It did not happen like that at all. Interesting. <laughs> um, what actually happened to him? He was beheaded on camera. Mm -hmm. live, filmed, in front of everybody. He wasn't running away and got shot and then was beheaded after the fact. Mm. He was talking into camera and had his head severed off live, alive, oh, as wow. it was happening. Gotcha, I understand. Then he was cut up into 24 pieces. Gotcha. And the trial is still going on right now because his family doesn't want them to release him who actually didn't do it. He's depicted as doing it in the film, but he isn't the one who used the blade and the guy who actually took his head off is in Guantanamo Bay. Admits to it. Says with his righteous right hand, he took Daniel Pearl's head off. Okay. So not only did we not get the actual thing that happened to Daniel Pearl, we're shown who did it and he actually isn't the guy who did it. Interesting. So that's why I don't like it. It's a total retelling of history of something that's really important that happened to an innocent man that should have never happened to him. Yeah. So, okay. I understand. Um, I didn't, I, I, I didn't have time to look up what actually happened. Yeah. But I remember the events. Gotcha. I, I just, this was right after 9-11. It was early 2002. Uh, everybody was praying for him to re be returned home. His family lives here in Encino. 
Uh, and when the news hit that there was a live video of his decapitation, um, it was Did you know that what this disturbing. was disturbing? Did you know that Omerto was about this event? About this guy? Well, yeah, this guy. I knew it was about this guy okay. who was part of that event. Gotcha. I, I didn't know his story other than the fact that he was connected to Al Qaeda, who also mm. was linked to 9 11. Yeah. But that he was central in this story of of uh, Daniel Pearl's gotcha. kidnapping okay. and, and killing, but I didn't know what role he played. Okay. So outside, now that we got past the, the old moment that Rick doesn't like the retelling, I understand. I, I agree. Um, but outside of that, what did you enjoy about the film though? Yeah. And I have one other thing I'll dislike, and I guarantee it's the same thing. <laughs> Let's just get this out of the way. Hey, yeah. directors. Hire hey, us. Hey, directors. It's 10 times more expensive to hire professional SAG actors who have training and know what they're doing. It's worth it. You yeah. probably would spend enough money for the proper lens. You need to invest in proper actors because it's inexcusable. They suck. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, that's uh, one of the reasons I wasn't too unhappy that Daniel Pearl died. Not the real one. The one in the film. Because <laughs> I, I wanted him off screen. It was... Uh, yeah, because normally uh, we've seen bad white actors before. In, in, you mean all the time? All the time yeah. in, in cinema because we know why. We've talked to directors. We've talked to casting directors. It's because they're expensive to get. They usually just find either locals and there's not a lot or they find tourists. Um, I don't know what they did for this, but they were all terrible. And there was a lot yeah. of them. A lot of them and just as a whole. That's what the ensemble surrounding Raj Kumar Rao for the most part wasn't. My good. My guess is uh, Hansel didn't have the budget, and also my bet is he got censored the hell out of this film. I know there's scenes that were cut that yeah. they didn't allow. That could have been one of the reasons why it wasn't the real telling. Who no. knows? I don't know. No, that was a choice he did in the writing. That wasn't just something got cut. Well, that don't... was a straight up retelling of what happened. You don't know. Um, I understand it's retelling, but you don't know that that's what happened or not. But anyways. Um, yeah, the, the wide actors was the thing that definitely kept me from loving it. Like I said, I liked it, and it, a lot of it has to go to Rajkumar Rao. It, uh, that is what, that's what I liked the most. Yeah. Well, I equally liked well, something I liked he did right, the, direct, the director, yeah. which is the fact that we got a story about a terrorist that doesn't demonize him as a person, yeah. makes him a complex person, and the people around him not stereotyped into this um, just every, you know, pure sociopathic, definitive, evil negativity. You, you, I would love to talk to Raj Kumar Rao about what it was like to have to, it's like- I think he said it was hard for him to play a character. He could not, um, I think I saw this quote, he could not um, uh, relate with. Well, it's like, it's like Forrest Whitaker playing Idi Amin in The Last King of Scotland. Mm -hmm. And he said, I, there is nothing about that man that I like or want to be like. But you can't judge him as an But actor. I can't judge him as an actor. Nope. I had to put myself in him and find him in me. And yep. he won an Oscar for it. Yeah. Because he did a great job of yep. taking an evil person. And that's the thing is that like, I bet at certain times there would have been moments you were hanging around Hitler and would have laughed at a joke. Yep. Because he was human. Yep. Evil, uh, but human. One of my favorite <laughs> parts, obviously I loved Raj Kumar. I thought Raj Kumar did a phenomenal job. It was, it was actually difficult for me at the beginning to get into his accent because... Oh, yeah. I, I thought you I, were going to say something else. No, but I thought... Because I was trying to figure out where he was from because he had this Indian or, or uh, Pakistani accent, but then sometimes got into British. I think they explained it that he, he was... He was born in, in Britain, and but he... No, he was born here, but brought up... But raised, up, but there, raised in so London. So that would I explain the kind of mixed... Right. Uh, and also, I don't know what this gentleman sounded like either. No idea. Um, so, but it took me a little bit to get into, because I was I kept hearing his accent. I'm like, okay, are you losing it? Are you, right. Are you, but then I was like, okay, that's probably what happened. So I really enjoyed that. But I did equally enjoy the fact that I've never seen a director try this yeah, before. I, I was trying to rack my brain because the film really, for me, became engrossing. Especially a 9-11 terrorist. Yeah, the, <laughs> the film became engrossing for me right at the midway point when he went to the camps to start to train. Yeah. Because I was going to see if he was going to take a turn on this and start to stereotype it, and he never did, which is my 
my favorite thing really about the film because mm -hmm. I the only I always go back to this when Clint Eastwood did uh, the, the the tales of our fathers and the the tales of Iwo Jima um, mm -hmm. flags of our fathers yeah. and then flag, flags of Iwo Jima where he told the same battle from the Japanese and the American perspective yeah that's the last time I remember somebody showing us the enemy and causing us to find a way to empathize with them yeah in some way it's difficult because very hard. One, you have to do it so carefully to right. not make it seem like you're praising them. Right. But you also, once again, you have to tell their story. And you have to find, as I'm sure Raj Kumar Rao did, you have to find the justifications that, granted, are now radical extremist transferred, right? Yeah. But underneath that is a twofold motivation of my faith in God yeah, and my wanting to make right what's being done wrong to my people yeah, and focus on that and that for them, the end justifies the means. Yep. And so you have to get past the barbarism and the evil yeah. of killing innocent people and really try to get into the rationale, which is insane. It's comparable to getting into the rationale of a uh, serial killer or, or anybody who does something that is just sociopathic in nature without Judging the character. Yeah, yeah. that's a, 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 a best thing of the movie. I want me. to praise Hansel for that because I, I, I appreciate him. We appreciate him in, in the one film we saw and we know his reputation as well of telling stories and pushing the boundaries, especially for yeah. Indian cinema. Um, and, and what you said a second ago, if for, some, for example, mm. if for some reason he was told at the outset, you cannot depict what really happened to Daniel Pearl. It could be. I, like I said, if we that was the case, case, no. If that was the case, if yeah. the, if censorship said if you're gonna if you're gonna make this film, the ending, you cannot depict what actually took place, and you can't even hint at what actually took place. You have to do it in a different way. Maybe legally they could. As then well. then no. don't make the movie. Yeah. Just don't make the movie because what you're doing is now there are going to be people who don't know the story and they're going to think this is what happened to Daniel Pearl, mm -hmm. and that's an injustice to what happened to Daniel Pearl. I think the bigger injustice is thinking he was a terrible actor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. But, but back to what he did that is really incredible in the direction and yeah. what, what Raj Kamau did with the character um, is one of the reasons, you know, if I were to recommend the film, I would let people know in advance. It's yeah. like, okay, spoiler alert, Daniel Pearl, it's, it's everybody knows the story of Daniel Pearl was killed. So sorry, you're going to need to know that. That's not how it happened. Please look up what happened. It's an ongoing thing right now yeah. in Pakistan. Because what you... It's one of the proverbial throwing out the baby with the bathwater things. It, I would have a hard time recommending it. But Raj Kumar Rao in the direction of this, from the vantage yeah. point of terrorists, is so rare. Yeah. yeah, and It's I'd a love, hard one for me. I would me. love to see more of it because I'm, I don't think we are those people that think that... Because um, some people think like... If you tell a story of um, Ted Bundy, you're right. glorifying serial killers, right. right? Which I guess if you do it wrong, it, it depends it on how you do well it. Well, could be sure, right? Right. Um, but I think every story deserves to be told. Uh, agreed. And just like I would love a authentic story about Hitler. Yes, an and, authentic one. And his life. Correct. And what led to him, not him. Just he was always this. He very well could have been. I don't know him, but. That's not how you should portray him. You should no. portray him as a human. Correct. Who had feelings, and you should, which they did, make you empathize with them at points. These evil, evil people. Yes. Not what they do, but like, you like, you can kind, kind of like the same way you can with Joker. You can kind of understand a little bit of their point of view. I can understand yeah. a lot of their point but of view. But it's like, obviously you don't condone it. You don't no. agree with it. Exactly. But you, if the story is told correctly, and it was here in terms of uh, the terrorist side of it. Correct. Um, you should empathize with this character because they were a human. Yeah, uh, I, you, you shouldn't agree with them. You should, they're evil, evil people. Yeah. And it's That's why it's so difficult. <laughs> but but I heard a story, I don't know if this is true or not. I heard a story that Raj Kumar Rao, while he was making this film, mm. were when they had the terror attacks in Paris, mm. which was a month after Alexis had just gotten back from Paris. Yeah, yeah, so that sucked yeah. for her. Uh, on a personal level to have just been in those places. But he, at the time, remembered watching it 
and actually realizing as he watched it because he was in character yeah that he had to check himself because his character mm. was appreciating it mm. his mindset watching it as he was being this character he, he I realized bet was, i bet wow, that was scary for him must have been yeah and because there is uh again the end doesn't justify the means, yeah. but you realize that this man, and I believe this is probably true about the man, it's mm -hmm. true about what happens to most people who become radicalized, and there's radicalization in every religious belief on the planet. 100%. Every single one of them. But it comes from a place of wanting to do good. Yeah. Muslims, are, have they been mistreated? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Have there been injustices done to them at the hands of governments? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are innocents like women and children having things done to them that are unspeakable? Yep. Do they? Does that make them outraged? Are things being done that are insulting to what they hold as their dearest beliefs? Mm -hmm. That's what the director and Rajkumar mm -hmm. Rao tapped into, yep. which is my favorite thing about the film. Once again, we're not condoning any of it. That but, is, no, but we're saying you should be able to emphasize, just like if there was a film about a KKK member. Right. <laughs> You have to be able to, even though like, they're freaking evil and crazy, you have to be able to empathize with them a little bit. And give Which a they did in, uh, what was it, Three Billboards? Was it Three Billboards? It Absolutely. Was like, oh, it was a racist, three billboards, right? Yes. He was racist. Yes. And they made you empathize with a racist. With a racist. Yes. So, like... And, and Leo, I always go back to Leo and Django oh, Unchained. Django, yeah. How he hated playing that character, but you can't... People don't judge themselves, and they're always feeling justified for what they believe, no matter how evil they may be. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And we need more roles like that, that depict the truth about what they did and its evil, but not gloss it over as just, they were nothing but this, you know, robotic killing machine who had no other motive. Like but... they did to the white people in this film. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I'm just, never going to get over that. Everything I do is evil. I'm just, I'm just evil. Uh, unless you're doing, you know then that that, yeah. can, that can be just yeah. pure evil. But so, yeah, I, I definitely agree. There were, I liked the film. There were things that kept me from loving, kind of similar, different reasons, but like um, uh, Death in the Gunge. Like, I could have loved it, right. but there were stuff that kept me from that. But did, yeah. I'm not saying it's a bad film. Um, no, it's have, not a bad film, except for the ending and with, 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 with the lie about Daniel Pearl. Yeah. Um, but... I do appreciate a lot of what happened in terms of acting of Rajkumar Rao, not the other people who no. I've mentioned before. <laughs> uh, and I appreciate Hansel and his willingness to, I would love, I'm, we're going to see a bunch of his work uh, here in the future because <laughs> I, I love the fact that he takes risks. We saw it in this, we saw it, we loved um, Al, Al Gira, right? Uh, Al Aligar. Aligar. Yeah. Love that. He obviously appreciates talent in terms of acting. Uh, and gives them a ton to work with. Yeah, yeah. And, and creative, unique characters, especially for Indian cinema. Yeah. So I, I really, really appreciate that. So, yeah. Let us know what's uh, next for him. Obviously, uh, Raj, Rajkumar Raju seems to be in everything. Yeah, he's just, he's always solid. <laughs> Which makes sense because he's a really talented actor who's very versatile. Very versatile. He's like, he, he's like a Swiss army knife. He can be whatever yeah. you want him to be. We just saw him in Ludo. Now we see him in this. Yeah. Like we've seen him in gang. Like he's Newton. Yeah. He really, he is, he is an actor he's that really picture. can just be put into any role. And he's probably just going to give you something great every single time. And, and in a film like this, do you know what this reminds, this will be a weird comparison mm. possibly because this is better as a whole, uh -huh. but the way that a movie is carried, Tom Hardy carried Viper. Oh, yeah. Raj Kumar Venom. Rao carries Omerta as far Venom. as... Yeah, I'm sorry. I said Viper. Venom. <laughs> Venom. Uh, he yeah. carried Venom. Yeah. Uh, I, he, that's a, a weaker film. Yeah. Comparatively. This was a much better directed film. Yeah, much better that, directed film. Than that film. Uh, but yeah, but, yeah I, so, I understand what you're saying. Yep. So let us know what's the next Hansel uh, film we should watch. And obviously Raj Kumar Rao. And uh, the next film in general we should watch down below. Down below.